Large areas in Ireland are covered by peat. In the Midlands are substantial raised bogs and peat extraction areas, while blanket bogs are draped over the hills and mountains of the wonderful west. For development on peatlands, including roads, railways, wind turbines, solar farms, telecom masts, buildings and cable or pipeline routes, consulting engineers and developers need to know the thickness of peat before the planning and design stage. Ground penetrating radar works like a plane or ship radar. A wave is transmitted by an antenna and then a reflected wave is received. There are many types of antennae with different shapes and frequencies. The antenna can be pulled by hand for smaller jobs, but is more often mounted or hitched on an off-road vehicle like an ATV. To take subsurface measurements, the GPR antenna is pointing downwards at the ground, so the radar wave travels down into the earth and is then reflected back up again. Working on peat terrain requires rugged, sturdy equipment and tough, seasoned personnel to deal with the soft surface vegetation, ditches, and waterlogged areas. Depth penetration of peat is good, and the base of the peat is a good reflector of radar signals, making GPR ideal for this terrain. The recorded data is enhanced on a workstation computer and displayed visually on screen as a radargram. The distance is on the top axis and the approximate depth on the vertical axis. The strong reflector indicating the base of the peat is marked up by a geophysicist. Data recorded on long single lines is displayed as a cross section with the depth or elevation visible against the distance. Data from many parallel lines can be organized into a 3D image where the depth or elevation is displayed against the east and north direction. The engineer or developer can now use the information to optimize the design of roads, foundations and excavation volumes. The less peat is disturbed or removed, the better it is for the environment. And in most cases, the cost of a development will be lower with less earthworks required. Minimizing the peat disturbance also minimizes the carbon footprint.